Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I want to show you how to save images within Ancestry.com. It occurred to me when I was making the video on the Advanced Video Viewer that you may not be saving your copies of images from Ancestry in the best possible way. And by that I mean in the highest resolution. And so I thought I'd show you um, on this census image by clicking on view original image the way these images load by default is in 50 percent resolution which you can see right here now what I, what I thought you may be doing is um, is control clicking on this image and um, either selecting download image or save image as depending on whether you're using Firefox or or Safari or some other browser and if you do that you're gonna get a lower resolution image so what you actually want to do is either change this to 200 percent resolution and then wait for that image to load and do that control clicking and download or save or you can click print and select image only print and then this will load that image down in this box and from there you can do the control click and save so I find that it's actually quicker to just change that resolution to 200 percent now the reason that's important I'll show you here if we look at this on this left hand side now this is the same 1920 census document and this is on the left is the what that looks like from the 50 percent version of that image and this is zoomed up to 100 percent of the size actually 200 percent of the size this middle pane has the 100 percent option zoomed up to 200 percent and then over here this rightmost window is the 200 percent version that is not zoomed in at all so you can see you get, especially between the 50% and the 200%, much more detail when you're zoomed in. And even between the 100 and 200, the, the boxiness, this pixelation, is what this is called, um, on these lines is obvious within this 100% and not so much on the 200%. So once that image loads, you can control click on it and select download image or file save as whatever it, the prompt is for your browser.